Good morning, and today is Friday, June 24th, 2022, and I want to personally welcome you to Morning Encounter. Today is Fellowship Friday, y'all. We're excited and we're so thankful to be here with you for Morning Encounter. Thank you for joining us today. The Bible reminds us that in Psalms 118 and 24 that this is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and we will be glad in it. We are a Luke 18 and 1 generation. We are a group of people who will pray and not faint. And I would love it if you would take a moment and take out your device, which you're already watching me on, and share out today's broadcast. Uh, ask someone to join you, like and share. Again, welcome for joining. Welcome to you, um, those of you who are on the platform today and those of you who are watching and listening. Welcome to the broadcast for today. God is good, y'all. I'm so thankful for all that he's done. Um, I know I was just with you on the broadcast just a whole day ago, but God is still faithful and he's still good. And I'm, you know, we're one of the redeemed. We are the redeemed and we're saying so. Hallelujah. God is a good God. We love the Lord today. Thank God for each and every one of you that are watching right now. Those of you who are here with us now, I want to say good morning to everyone. So if you haven't done so already, go ahead and say something in the comment section. Let's, let us know that you're watching. Even if you're watching recorded, let us know that you're watching. Say something in the comment section. We'd love to know even if you're watching on the replay. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Good morning, Mother Duncan. God bless you. It's great to see you on this morning. God bless you. Good morning, uh, Sister Mindy. God bless you. It's great to see you on today. Good, good morning, Sister Kimmy. God bless you. It's great to see you on this morning. God bless you. Good morning, uh, Sister Holman. God bless you. It's great to see you on this morning. Thank you for joining us. And to each and every one of you, it's truly a blessing and an honor to be on the broadcast with you. I count it a privilege to be able to not, <laughs> I'm not standing up, but to just sit here and to uh, share out the word of God with you, to pray, to intercede, to even have this fellowship with you. God bless you, Cousin V. Thank you for being on this morning. Thank you for joining us. We're going to head over to the scripture this morning, uh, the scripture out of the word of God. Hallelujah. Uh, we're going to come out of today, 2 Thessalonians and Psalms 105, Psalm, Psalms 100 verse 5. Those are the two uh, scriptures that we're going to talk about today. But first, we're going to go to 2 Thessalonians chapter 3. Um, focus, focus verse is verse 3. Um, but we're going to start at the first verse and kind of walk our way through. Um, I have pulled up um, both the King James and... And the New Living Translation, matter of fact, I think I'm going to just have the New Living Translation up for us today. And we're just going to start at the, at the first verse and read down to the third verse. And this is Paul's request for prayer. Um, and like I said, the focus verse is verse 3. So we're going to start right at verse 1. It says, finally, dear brothers and sisters, we ask you to pray for us. Pray that the Lord's message will spread rapidly and be honored wherever it goes, just as when it came to you. Pray, too, that, you, that we will be rescued from wicked and evil people, for not everyone is a believer. And this is the focus verse. But the Lord is faithful. He will strengthen you and guard you from the evil one. But the Lord is faithful. In spite of people not receiving the gospel, in spite of people being wicked and hateful, in spite of people being evil, hallelujah, the Lord is faithful. And that is truth reigns even today even when men revile you even when men persecute you even when men speak evil against you and create um lies about you and um you know dog you out and run your name through the mud even so the lord is faithful the lord is faithful his mind about you uh concerning you does not change he's not we always say the word fickle he's not fickle about you he is faithful. He is faithful. He doesn't change. And I love that about the Lord because he doesn't change. We as people, we wake up one day and we feel a certain way. We wake up another day, we feel a different way. We, you know, we go to bed, we're happy. We wake up, we're sad. You know, it, it, it's, a, it's, a, it's a coin flip with us sometimes. But I thank the Lord that he is faithful. Uh, Webster Dictionary describes faithful or, or defines faithful as someone who is loyal, who is honest, who is honorable, who is um, trusted, hallelujah, who's dependable, who's dedicated. And I'm here to tell you and remind you that God is all of those. He is dedicated to us. He is, hallelujah, trusted, hallelujah. He's honorable. He's honest. 
He's consistent. He's consistent, especially when we're not. He's uh, he's extra consistent with us. Hallelujah. I, I, I've come to know even in times that I've failed, even in times that I've failed and I've come up short, that's when the Lord shows me how faithful he is to me. Hallelujah. That even while I was yet sinning, he, he, he allowed his son's death on the cross, his blood, uh, his shed blood to cover my sins. He's faithful when I can't be faithful. He's faithful when I think I'm being faithful and I'm not faithful enough. God is true. And I'm so thankful that Paul reminds us here. He says, but the Lord is faithful in spite of all that we endure on a daily preaching the gospel, sharing out the gospel to Jewish people, sharing out the gospel to Gentile people, people that say, I was reading this morning in Acts, people that say, oh, well, you've pre you're preaching the word, but you have to be circumcised. And they had to remind them, look, we, you know, th these people, these Gentiles don't need to be circum circumcised, but they just need to just believe in the grace of God. They just need to have faith in God. They just need to believe that Jesus died on the cross and rose from their sins, rose from the dead on the third day and freed them from their sins. That is what you have to believe. And even though Paul and Silas and all those others, when they will go out and preach the word, sometimes people will receive them. Sometimes people would not. Sometimes they would get a pat on the back. Sometimes they would get beaten with wooden sticks and thrown into jail. But they remembered the Lord is faithful. Regardless of what you go through on a day-to-day -day basis, you have to remember that God is faithful. Doesn't matter. I know sometimes it hurts. Sometimes you're like, well, why am I going through this? situation. Well, you know what? Everybody went through. If Jesus had to go through just to die for your sins, you got to imagine that you have to go through some things too. But we have to remember that the Lord is faithful. He is our consistent. Hallelujah. Psalms 105, it, it tells us and it reminds us, it says, for the Lord is good. His mercy is everlasting and his truth endured to all generations. Look at this in the Passion Translation. It says, for Yahweh is always good. He's always good. You know, you ever call somebody and they say, hey, how you doing? And they're like, I'm good. No, yeah, yeah, we're, yeah, you're good. But God is, God is always good. He is good with a capital G. Hallelujah. He's good with a capital O and a capital O and a capital D. He is always good. And I like how the tra uh, Passion Translation reads. It says, and he's ready to receive you. Look at the next line. It says, he is so loving that it will amaze you. His love will, uh, he's so kind that it will astound you. Hallelujah. Have you ever stopped to look back over your life and you think about, hallelujah, where the Lord has brought you from? It will simply amaze you. Even if you look back where you were a year ago, uh, two years ago, five years ago, you don't have to go back to your childhood. You can go back within the last 10 or 15 years and look at where you are now and look back at where you were 10 or 15 years ago. Hallelujah. The Lord, uh, his, 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 his loving kindness will con con consistently amaze you. It will astound you. The times when we have come up short, when we haven't been as faithful, when we haven't been as consistent, when we say we love God, but we don't talk to him, when we say that we, we adore God, but we won't listen to his commandments, when we say, God, I'll, I'll follow you to the ends of this earth, and we can't even obey a simple command, hallelujah, and then you look back and say, God, I thank you that you are not a man that you should lie, nor the son of man should you repent? Have you spoke a thing and will you not allow it to come to pass? Hallelujah. That will amaze you. It will set you back. It will just, it will shake you to a, to a degree. Hallelujah. Have you ever had the word of God shake you when you look at where you are and look at how, you know, you watch people in the Bible, if they did things and they weren't obedient to God, they were stripped of, you know, we talked about Saul earlier this week, stripped of his title of kingship. Hallelujah. Because he did not obey what the prophet told him to do. Hallelujah. But we did disobey God on a, now I'm not going to say on a consistent, but you can probably count, hallelujah, just yesterday, maybe one or two times that God told you to do something, you were either hesitant or you did not do, hallelujah, but God is still faithful that you are sitting here watching this broadcast and you're breathing on your own, even if you have a machine breathing for you, hallelujah.
Hallelujah. God gave the doctors the ability to put the machine on you. Hallelujah. God's faithfulness is true. Hallelujah. It says, and he is famous for his faithfulness towards all. He is famous. Even when people try to try to snuff him out, even when people try to say he's not real, he's not there. Hallelujah. That he's not watching. God is everywhere all at the same time. He is famous for his faithfulness towards all. There are people still in the still in this world, in society, that talk about hallelujah, different uh accounts in the Bible where God is faithful, where they're 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 actually lifting up God and they may not even be living anything. You've heard people talk about, oh, they they talk about stories like of uh, David and Goliath. They talk about stories, um, you know, how Jesus healed the woman with the issue of blood. They may not have an ounce of salvation running through their body, but let me tell you that he is faithful. He is famous for his faithfulness. Hallelujah. David went up against Goliath. Uh, he was a kid and Goliath was a giant. But how many of you know he went up against Goliath with five smooth stones and a slingshot, which is unheard of when you're fighting in a battle? Hallelujah. But God is faithful and we see the faithful of God even in that. We see the faithfulness of God in the woman being healed with the issue of blood. We see the faithfulness of God. Just look at your own life. Look at where God has brought you from. Hallelujah. Uh, look, There's a song that we've, we've sung in churches. You may have heard it. it says, look what the Lord has done. Look what the Lord has done. He saved He saved me. I can't remember all the words, but he saved me. He saved me. That just You could just stop right there. We don't even deserve the salvation of God. Hallelujah. But because of Jesus's blood on the cross. We have we have that that awesome opportunity to be a son of God. Hallelujah. Sons and daughters of God. Hallelujah. Look at the next sentence. It says and he is famous for his faithfulness toward all. Everyone knows our God can be trusted. Everyone knows our God can be trusted. That's why the enemy tries to have you think that, that you can't trust God. That's why the enemy tries to have you think that God doesn't listen to your prayers, that God doesn't see you and your faithfulness, that God doesn't see the sacrifice that you're making, that God is not paying attention to you. But I'm here to let you know that God can be trusted. Hallelujah. That God sees everything. Hallelujah. That God knows everything. That is only the enemy that's trying to get you to see. Hallelujah. Just trying to get, trying to, trying to uh, convince you that God doesn't know all and see all, but he does. Hallelujah. It says, for he keeps his promises to every generation. And if I look at the comment section here, I can probably see various generations of people here. Hallelujah. Some young, some older. We don't, we were not all born with, even within the same day decade. There are people here born in, in the 70s. There are people here born in the 60s. There are people born, maybe born even in the 50s. Hallelujah. But throughout many different uh, decades, hallelujah, uh, uh, it, over the last maybe 80 to 90 years, we are not all of the same generation. But how many of you can testify? If I gave you all a link to come on and testify, you will be able to testify that he has kept his promise concerning you. Hallelujah. Even in the promises, I talked to a sister yesterday. And she said, you know, I wonder, I, I look back and I, I wonder how in the world did God allow me to come through that? And I don't even remember the things I used to do. I said, my God, that is a beautiful testimony because how many of you know, you can get, you could get hung up. You could get hung up on the things of your past, but when God wipes your slate clean, when God wipes even the memory of the thing that you used to do, God is faithful to every generation. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Isn't God faithful? to you. Put some likes, put some hearts in the comment section. If God has been faithful to you, hallelujah. Paul wanted to remind the people there, huh, no matter what, no matter what they were going through, no matter what issues they came up against, no matter if people received the teaching or not, no matter if they were thrown in jail for what they preached, that the Lord is faithful. How many of you know, when we read the account in Acts uh, with Paul and Silas, actually, I'm just getting to that portion in a uh, the daily Bible reading where Paul and Silas were thrown into jail. That actually they were literally like literally like minding their own business, going to the house of prayer, going to pray. And they kept, they were antagonized by this young lady saying that they were there to preach Jesus. And Paul just got frustrated. He's like, you know, I'm done. I'm tired of you. Uh, you're almost blaspheming God here. Uh, but, you know, I'm just going to rebuke that demonic oppression off of you. And the girl became free and now she wasn't making the money for her 
masters. Hallelujah. And so our masters got upset and said, you know what? We're going to get the people that, that freed you from your sin, that freed you from this demonic oppression. So they threw Paul and Silas in jail. They threw Paul and Silas in jail. And while they were in jail, while they were in jail, they were singing praises unto God. And the other people that were in jail with them were watching and listening. And they were singing praises to God. Even in spite of your, your locked up situation, your jail situation, your, your, your situation where you feel bound and oppressed, the Lord is still faithful. And it didn't change their attitude. It didn't change their mindset. It didn't change uh, how they felt about God. Hallelujah. We need to be reminded of that. I'll take that for myself. Hallelujah. That no matter what you're going through, no matter what you're dealing with, it doesn't change who God is. Even though you may be going through a situation where you're broke, you don't have the money that you need. You don't have the vehicle that you need. You don't, you're not living in the type of house that you would like to live in. God is still faithful. Nothing about God has changed. Nothing about God has changed. I don't care if you're sick in your body. I don't care if you're going through a divorce or whatever you're going through. God is still faithful. And while Paul and Silas found themselves locked up in prison, it didn't change their mind on who God was. They still decided, they still decided on the inside that they will still praise the Lord. And while they were praising, it says while they were yet singing and praising the Lord, singing praises unto the Lord, the, the, the whole jail shook. It was a, like a great earthquake and it shook the shackles off of them. Kind of similar to when Peter was in jail a few chapters before um, and earlier in Acts where, where Peter was in jail and the shackles began because of the prayers of the saints, the shackles were broken off of him. And so when the jailer came in to see what was going on, he saw that all the jailers were, were, were loose. The shackles were off of them and he took out his sword to take his own life because he knew I'm a dead man. When they find out that there was a jailbreak, I'm going to die. They're going to kill me. So I'll just do it myself. And P and Paul, he immediately cried out to me, said, Don't, no, we're all here. We're all here. No one has escaped. And at that moment, the heart of the jailer turned. Hallelujah. The heart of the jailer turned. He said, he brought them out of the jail and said, what must I do to be saved? Could you imagine? If they hadn't been singing in the in the jail that night, can you imagine the outcome if they had decided to be like, woe is me. I'm so, so frustrated. We got locked up. We weren't even doing anything wrong. Wah, 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 wah. What if they had been like that in jail? Yeah, I'm here, here to tell you it would have been a different outcome and the jailer wouldn't have been saved. The prisoners wouldn't have heard the praises of the Lord. Listen, your praises are not just for you. Hallelujah. It could be for the very person that you're connected to. It could be for the very family member in your house that's not professing salvation. It could be for the very co-worker at your job that's watching you every day go off into your secret place, hallelujah, to, 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 to read your word, to go off in your secret place to pray, hallelujah, even in my madness. I love that, Kimmy. She says, even in my madness, the Lord was good and faithful, hallelujah, y'all. It is a blessing, hallelujah, that even in spite of what you go through, you can look back and say, God, you've been faithful, even even in my jacked up situation, you have remained faithful. And I thank God for the scripture today. The scripture has come out of, I'm going to pull it up here so that you can see it. And please take a screenshot of this if, you're, if you can. 2 Thessalonians chapter 3, verse 1 through 3. No matter what. He says, pray too that we will be rescued from the wicked and evil people. So he's asking the saints, pray for us while we're out doing ministry work. We're out preaching the gospel. We're out preaching the word of God. Pray for us us, that people will receive the word of God just as quickly as you receive. Pray that others be received and that the word of God be honored. But he said, even in spite of all of that, hallelujah, the Lord is faithful. Somebody needs to say that, type that in the, in the comment section, type that in the comment section. The Lord is faithful faithful. In spite of what I'm going through, the Lord is faithful. In spite of what I'm looking at, the Lord is faithful. Even if I have everything I've ever wanted in my life, everything I ever thought I could ever have, the Lord is still faithful. Even if you're on the struggle bus and having issues, paying your bills, doing whatever you need to do for your family, you find it difficult every single day when you wake up, the Lord is faithful. Because why? You have another opportunity to try and get it right with God. You have another opportunity to 
see the faithfulness of God on your life. You're, you have another opportunity to see the hand of mercy and grace on your life. Hallelujah. We have to stop walking around with this pity party. Everybody's going through. I heard somebody say, everybody's going through. Everybody's going through something. The rich people are going through something. The poor people are going through something. If you have everything, you're going through something people want from you. If you don't have everything, you're trying to get things. We're all going through a level of something, but the Lord is faithful. When you start approaching your life like that, watch God. Just watch him. Just watch him. When you start, instead of complaining, Lord, I wish I had. Why don't I have? No, if you say, God, I thank you for what I have. I thank you, Lord, that you are faithful. Hallelujah. Let's shine the light, light back on Jesus. Let's shine the light back on God. He is faithful. Take the light off of your pity party. Take the light off of your the, the, the things that you're struggling with. The Lord is faithful. I'm not married. I don't have the thing. You know what? God is faithful. God could be saving you for just the right person to come into your life. Don't rush God. Don't get ahead of God. Hallelujah. I don't have the money to go get this, but you know what? God is faithful. You have the money to have food in your house. You have money to have clothes on your back. You have money to have uh, a gas in your car. Well, I don't have a full tank of gas, but you got some gas. You can go some places. You can do some things. Hallelujah. God is good, y'all. The Lord is faithful. That's right. I see y'all. I see you, Sister Mindy. She said, the Lord is faithful. The Lord is faithful. Mother, Mother Duncan, the Lord is faithful. That's that's right. That's right. And I, 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 mm, I wouldn't even be able to sit here and say it with confidence without knowing, without being able to think about the simple fact that as quick as I say it to you, I'm going to have to eat those words. Hallelujah. That I'm going to have to look even at my life. When I cut these lights off, when I cut off this feed, I'm going to have to look at my life and look at my situation and say it to myself. The Lord is faithful. It could be so different. It could be so different. Hallelujah. We've had people look at us and wonder, how are you able to live where you live? It's the faithfulness of God. It has nothing. Look, Y'all look at me. <laughs> it has nothing to do with us. <laughs> It's nothing to do. It's the faithfulness of the Lord. People can look at your situation. How in the world have you stayed married as long as you have? What's the faithfulness of the, how in the world have you been able to keep your mind? in? Listen, I can't even keep my mind in perfect peace. It's the Lord that's keeping me in perfect peace because I keep my mind on him. I take the light and take it off of my situation and I turn it, turn it back to God. Hallelujah. Except the Lord build the house. <laughs> Hallelujah. If God doesn't do it, if God doesn't do it, it's not going to be done. Hallelujah. If God doesn't do it, it's not going to be done. If God doesn't build it, it's not going to be done. It's the faithfulness of the Lord, y'all. It's the faithfulness of the Lord. I thank God today for the word. Hallelujah. Out of 2 Thessalonians uh, chapter 3, verse 1 through 3. And we did read into your hearing Psalms 105. Um, 100 verse 5 in the Passion Translation. There it is in the Passion Translation. He's always good and ready to receive you. He's so loving it will amaze you. I love that. I love the Psalms. And so, <clears throat> so kind that it will astound you. Hallelujah. And everyone, uh, and he is famous for his faithfulness toward all. Everyone knows that our God can be trusted for he keeps his promises to every generation. Hallelujah. If I pulled Sister Mindy on, I bet she would testify of the goodness and faithfulness of the Lord. If I pulled, good morning, Sister Tyra. If I pulled Sister Tyra on, Sister Tyra and I are from the same generation. And I bet God has been faithful to her just as he's been faithful to me. Sister Kimmy is my older sister. Different, different. Uh, I think we're almost a, almost a generation apart. Not quite almost really close. Uh, but God has been faithful to her. Hallelujah. Mother Duncan, it, we're, we're a generation, at, at least one generation apart. God has been faithful to her as well as he's been to me. <clears throat> God is good, y'all. God is good. Hallelujah. We have to remember no matter what, we have to remember no matter what, that God is faithful. I pray y'all are encouraged today by the word. We took that out of Psalms 100, verse 5, first, Second Thessalonians 3, 1 through 3. For those of you who just popped on, if you want to take that screenshot, if you're able to go back and listen later, uh, you can check out what God has said to us in those passages of scripture. We thank God for each and every one. Thanks God for each and every one of you who are on the broadcast. Now, I want to encourage you all 
if you're able to, please go ahead and type in that prayer request. Um, I've seen a few people already type in a couple of things and I've been trying to tag those since we've been on the air and um, I don't want to miss anything. So if you can, please, ma'am, please, sir, type in your uh, prayer request into the comment section below. Hallelujah. God is faithful. Hallelujah. God is faithful. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. I have two prayer requests and I want to make sure that we do not skip over anyone. Hallelujah. God is good. I love the Lord. I love the Lord. I want to welcome everybody. Thank you all for being on the broadcast today. I want to welcome everyone. Thank you for joining us and thank you for all of your support being on this week. It's been such a blessing. Hallelujah. You know, sometimes when we get up to, to, to come on to the broadcast, it is a uh, it can be it can be a challenge because it's early, and I start thinking, well, <laughs> you know, Lord, uh, it would be nice to, to take a minute and sleep in, and and I'm always reminded. I told you all yesterday. I put it in my calendar. It's called His time, and I got I, the Lord's like, uh, you can you can take a nap later. <laughs> Go on and get up. It's like okay, Lord, because I'm reminded. He reminds me. He doesn't he doesn't have to say it to me. He'll give me a glimpse of where I come from where I came from. And it's like, ah, I got to get up. I got to do, I got to, I have to, it's a must. It's a necessity. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. All right. I see three prayer requests. We're going to move forward in that. Hallelujah. I see you, sister Holman. I got you. Thank you for typing that in. Hallelujah. God is good. God is good. All right. We're going to move forward in our prayer time and then I'm going to get out of your way. You all indulged me yesterday. I went back and watched that video. I said, Lord, uh, the people of God just sat there, uh, mostly for for the most part, and uh, <laughs> we won't keep them on as long as we did uh, today, uh, as we did yesterday. And uh, there was another day this week we were on beyond an hour. I said, "My God, why are we on so long? <laughs> we we don't want to, you know, take advantage of the time." So, uh, but thank you all for your support and for your prayers um, uh, this week and and. You know, we thank God for you. We thank God for you. It is truly a blessing and an honor to be on uh, on the broadcast in the morning time with you. Hallelujah. God is good. God is good. All right, let's get into our prayer time. We thank God for each and every one. Hallelujah. Lord, uh, as we go into our prayer time, you guys know, you know the drill. You can find your secret place. You can get into your prayer position, whatever that may be. <clears throat> Hallelujah. You guys are still putting in your prayer requests. We got you. All right. Because sometimes if I close my eyes, I don't see them. So we want to make sure we get them in before we before we start. Because, y'all, I kind of close my eyes sometimes when I pray. Do y'all do that? Or do y'all pray with your eyes open? Ooh. Sometimes my eyes pop open. But most of the time, for the most part, they're closed. So I want to make sure we get them in before we start. So I think I got everybody's prayer request in. Hallelujah. Um, I have a few that um, came over. Uh, messenger and then just the ones we wrote down from uh, yesterday and the previous day um, just continue to be praying for those that are connected to us but I think I have everybody everyone let's see I have Lord you know requests from sister Mindy uh, mother Duncan sister Holman um, and sister cookie um, I have Kimmy's request for mom and dad and then I have a request for um, cousin V's request for uh, for our for the bloodline for your families and those that are connected to you. So if I did not call yours out and you have one, please put it into the comment section. All right. So we're gonna go ahead and get into prayer. Um, hallelujah. Whatever your prayer posture is, if you're driving, keep your hands on the road or keep your hands on the steering wheel. Hallelujah. And God can honor that prayer even with your eyes open. You don't have to have your eyes closed, head bowed. You don't have to do that. That's just a sign of of outward appearance of, of reverence of what you should already be doing on the inside. We should be reverencing the presence of God. And, um, when we go into prayer, hallelujah, but you don't have to sit there with your eyes closed. Um, I think we just do that. We kind of, we kind of do that out of habit, I think. But um, yeah, so let's get into our prayer time. So dear Heavenly Father, Lord, we thank you, Lord. We thank you for this day full of your grace and mercy, God. We thank you for your keeping power and your saving power. And Lord, we thank you for just reminding us of how faithful you are to us. Thank you for reminding us that you have been faithful over the years, over the decades, Lord God, even in spite of us even uh, asking for prayer or if even if we didn't ask and we were just 
just out there doing what we want to do. You have been faithful in spite of. You have been faithful beyond measure. And Lord, we thank you, Lord God, for um, bestowing that faithfulness onto us and your consistency onto us, God. And we we glorify your name that you have not abandoned us. You have not left us on the side of the road, but you you have always kept us close to you, God. And we thank you. Hallelujah, God. We glorify you. We give you all praise. We give you all the glory, God. We 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 lift your name on high and we magnify you, God. And we 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 glorify you, God. Hallelujah, God. We thank you for who you are, Lord. We thank you for what you've done, Lord God. We thank you for how you've loved on us and protected us and kept us, oh God, in the name of Jesus, God. We thank you, Lord, for your peace that goes beyond our understanding. We thank you, Lord, that in spite of everything we've gone through in our life, you've kept us, oh God. Lord, we, we just magnify you. God, we just give you glory. We give you glory. We give you glory. We give you praise. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. God, we, we just come to you, God, first with thanksgiving in our heart, Lord God. We thank you for blessing us in our bodies to be as well as they are. We thank you for touching us in our mind. We thank you, Lord, for allowing our, our bodies to function the way that they are and things being as well as they are. God, we thank you. Hallelujah. God, we praise you. We give you the glory. God, we give you the honor. We magnify you. Hallelujah. We lift you up. God, we thank you for even touching us in our mind, how you've kept our minds in perfect peace as, we, as you've kept us, kept our hearts and minds stayed on you. God, we thank you. Hallelujah, God, we praise you. We thank you for touching our body, Lord God, our physical body, Lord God, from our, our, our minds, our brains, Lord God, down to our hearts. Lord God, we thank you, Lord God, for uh, allowing a physical activity and allowing us to be able to move. Lord, we know that it's in your word that you've given us the ability to live, to move, and have our very being because of you, God. God, we thank you. God, we magnify you. We, we give you glory. We give you glory. We give you glory. We give you glory. We reverence you today, God. We reverence you today, Lord, for we know that we can't do anything without you. And apart from you, we could do nothing. God, and we thank you. Hallelujah. God, we glorify you. We praise you. We praise you, Lord. If there be anything that's living on the inside of us, anything inside of us that's not like you, Lord, we ask that you would take it out. Hallelujah. That you would take out fear. That you would take out fear in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Somebody's dealing with fear this morning. Lord, take out fear. Take out fear and then strife in the name of Jesus. Jesus, hallelujah, that the fear of this person that this person is wrestling with is causing strife and contention in the family. Hallelujah, Lord, I pray that you would take out that fear. We take out that you would take out that fear in the name of Jesus. God, we thank you. Hallelujah, God, we praise you. We give you all the glory. God, we thank you, Lord God, for how you bless us even in our bodies and our physical bodies, how you've given us strength. Hallelujah, to endure strength to even go through our daily, uh, daily, uh, uh, chores and different things we have to do, God. We thank you, Lord God. Even those of us who leave out and head out to work every day, God, thank you for giving strength. Thank you for giving strength. Thank you for giving strength. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. God, I thank you. Oh, thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Now, Lord, we ask, Lord God, we come to you, hallelujah, interceding and standing in the gap for those that are connected to us. And Lord God, we, we just thank you for those who have prayer requests. We thank you for the ones that have typed in the comment section, even the ones that are unspoken requests that are, just have not been typed out. Lord God, we thank you for their requests. Lord, we thank you for this opportunity to stand in the gap, to lift others up, Lord God, that, your, that their prayer be, uh, the petitions be heard, oh God, in the name of Jesus, Lord, and we thank you. Hallelujah, God, and we praise you. Lord God, I'm praying right now for Sister Mindy. We're praying for Sister Mother Duncan. We're praying for Sister Holman. We're praying for Sister Cookie, Lord God. Those that have, Lord, you know, requests, Lord God, we pray that you would come in and touch in the name of Jesus. Lord, you know the exact situation. You know the exact situation. You, Lord, you know the exact lack in the lives of these women, oh God, Lord, you know exactly what they have need of. And Lord God, I pray right now that you would touch each and every one in the name of Jesus. Lord God, I pray that you would touch Mother Mother Duncan, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Lord, bless her, oh God. Lord, strengthen her, oh God, in the name of Jesus. And Lord God, I thank you for what you're doing in her family. Thank you for blessing her children. Thank you for blessing her grandchildren, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Thank you for doing a mighty work in her life. Thank you for doing a mighty work in, in her life, Lord God. 
thank you for blessing and hearing her prayers in the name of Jesus, how she's lifting up her family members to you. Lord God, bless, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. And Lord, I pray that you will make a way for her where there is no way in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. The places in her life that seem to come up short, Lord, I thank you, Lord God, for increasing her family, God, increasing her family in the name of Jesus. Lord God, I thank you right now for her life. I thank you, Lord, for all that you're doing in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Amen. And it is so. Glory be to God. Lord, I thank you for Sister Mindy, oh God. Lord, I thank you for touching her now in the name of Jesus. Lord, I thank you for touching her now in the name of Jesus, even in her mind, even in her mind, her thought process in the name of Jesus. Lord, bless her thought process. Hallelujah. Doesn't matter if she knows exactly what she's supposed to do, but Lord, I thank you, Lord, for leading and guiding her in your way. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Thank you for leading and guiding her, ordering her steps according to your will, oh God, in the name of Jesus. And God, I thank you, Lord God, as she stands in the gap for those that are connected to her, those family members, those little ones. Lord God, I pray that you continue to do a mighty work. I pray, Lord God, that you would save in her family. Lord God, that you would have your way in the name of Jesus, that you will move by your spirit in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. That what the enemy meant for evil, Lord, we thank you for turning that thing around for your good. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. God, we thank you for it now. God, we thank you for it now in the name of Jesus. And God, we give you all the glory. We give you all the praise in Jesus name. Hallelujah. Amen. And it is so glory be to God. Lord, I thank you for sister Holman. Oh God, Lord, I thank you for touching her. I thank you for blessing her. I thank you for giving her strength in the name of Jesus. I thank you Lord for, uh, uh, for your long suffering with her. Hallelujah. Thank you for blessing her family, her children, her grandchildren. Oh God, those that are connected to her. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus, Lord God, I pray that you would continue to strengthen her the more that you would continue Continue to bless her the more in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. And Lord God, I pray for the miraculous to be done in her life. Hallelujah. I pray for the miraculous to be done in her life. Hallelujah. Even when the enemy says no, Lord, I thank you for your yes. Hallelujah. Even when the enemy says no and the, the doctors say no, Lord, I thank you for your yes. Hallelujah. I thank you for your yes. I thank you for your healing. I thank you for your healing in the name of Jesus. I thank Thank you for your healing in the name of Jesus. Thank you for turning around diagnosis. It's the hallelujah. Thank you for turning around the diagnosis, God, in the name of Jesus. And God, we thank you right now. God, we praise you right now. Hallelujah. Thank you for being the God of a turnaround in the name of Jesus. Thank you for healing in uh, Sister Holman's body. I thank you, Lord, for touching her in the name of Jesus. And those that are connected to her, those children, those young people that are connected to her, Lord God, I pray for divine turnaround in the name of Jesus. And what, what was is no longer. And hallelujah, where there's lack, there'll be no lack. No more lack in the name of Jesus. And God, we thank you for it now. God, we glorify you for it now. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. And it is so. Sister Home, I just see something just being turned around. Hallelujah. I don't know if it's a health health issue or something. I, I just see a just a turnaround. I just see a, a complete turnaround and I thank God for it. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Lord, I thank you right now. Hallelujah. And Lord, we're praying for Sister Cookie. Lord God, I pray that you would touch Sister Cookie, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Lord, bless her, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Lord, I thank you for doing a complete work in her. I thank you for blessing her. I thank you for keeping her. God, thank you for sustaining her, God, in the name of Jesus. Thank you for working out the miraculous in her life. In the name of Jesus, Lord, you know what she is in need of. You know the desires of her heart. And Lord God, I pray that you would come in and have your way. Turn around the, the prognosis. Turn around whatever whatever the situation is, Lord. I, I speak a divine turnaround in the name of Jesus. Jesus. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. God, and we thank you. Hallelujah. God, and we praise you. Hallelujah. God, we give you the glory. Hallelujah. Lord God, complete, continue to do a complete work in Sister Cookie in the name of Jesus. And Lord, as you're blessing her, and Lord, as you're increasing her in the things of you, as you're increasing her in the knowledge of you, Lord, I pray that you do a mighty work to those that are connected in the name of Jesus, those that she's connected to and those that she loves 
doves. Hallelujah, Lord. I pray that you will come in and have your way in the name of Jesus, that you move by your spirit in the name of Jesus, Lord God, and do a mighty and complete work in her and through her, God. In Jesus' name, God, we thank you for it now. In Jesus' name, we pray. Hallelujah. Amen. And it is so. <clears throat> Amen. And it is so. Glory be to God. God, we're praying. Hallelujah. For my parents, for our parents, hallelujah, Lord, I pray that you would touch Freddie and Elizabeth, oh God, in the name of Jesus, Lord, God, do a mighty work. Thank you for turning around the report. Thank you for turning around the report. Hallelujah. Thank you for delivering and setting free. Thank you for touching their hearts and their bodies, oh God, in the name of Jesus, touching their minds, keeping them in your perfect peace in the name of Jesus, Lord God. I thank you, Lord God. Hallelujah for the good report. I thank you, Lord God, for the good report. Hallelujah. I thank you for turning the situation around in their health, turning the situation around in their finances. Thank you for doing a complete work, oh God, in the name of Jesus. God, and we thank you for them, God. We thank you for them both, God, in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. We glorify you for both in the name of Jesus. Lord God, I thank you right now for saving them. I thank you, Lord, for delivering them. I thank you, Lord, for setting them free, oh God, in the name name of Jesus. Thank you for doing a complete work in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. God, and we honor you. God, and we thank you. Hallelujah. We give you all the praise. Hallelujah. We give you all the glory in Jesus name. Hallelujah. Amen. And it is so glory be to God. And Lord, we're praying for those that are connected to us. Those that are connected to us by blood relation, Lord God. We're praying for those family members that are connected to us. Those, yeah, our parents and our grandparents, our, our, our brothers and our sisters. Hallelujah. Our nieces and nephews, our grandchildren, our great-grandchildren. Lord God, I pray that you touch them all from the top of their heads to the soles of their feet in the name of Jesus. Lord God, I pray that you work the miraculous in our families' lives in the name of Jesus. I pray that you do a, make a divine turnaround in the lives of our family members, oh God, those that would renounce you in the past, those that would not follow after you, Lord God, but Lord, that you would give them a heart of flesh in the name of Jesus that they will receive you. Hallelujah. That they would accept you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, they would accept and walk in salvation. And God, we thank you for it now. We thank you for healing power. We thank you for healing virtue. In the name of Jesus, God, we thank you right now. Hallelujah, we give you the praise. And Lord God, we pray, Lord, that you would go down and touch all through our family members. Hallelujah. Even those that we don't talk to, even those that we don't have as much communication with. Lord, I pray that you would go before us. Hallelujah. And touch those family members now. In the name of Jesus, Hallelujah. We bind every attack of the enemy. We bind sickness and disease. Hallelujah. We bind strife and envy in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. We, lo we lose the spirit of love and compassion. Hallelujah. We, we lose, the, lose the spirit of, 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 of love and, and commitment in the family in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. The evil words will cease to be spoken in our families. Hallelujah. That, that strife will cease cease in the name of Jesus. And God, we thank you for it now. God, we glorify you for it now. And we give you all of the praise. <clears throat> and God, we bless your name. Hallelujah. We bless your name. God, we thank you right now. We thank you for this opportunity to pray. We thank you for this opportunity to seek you. We thank you, Lord God, for being faithful with us. We thank you, Lord God, for even when we slacked and we weren't faithful with you, that you have been always faithful with us. You have always been consistent with us. Hallelujah. You've always been there waiting patiently on us. God, we thank you for it now. God, we thank you for it now. Thank you for getting our minds and touching our minds and causing our minds to come in. God, in the name of Jesus, thank you for saving us and setting us apart and healing us, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Thank you for setting us free, oh God, in the name of Jesus. And God, I glorify your name. I magnify your name. We lift your name on high. I thank you for every single person that's watching, every single person that's listening and may come back later. Lord, I thank you for their lives right now. I thank you for doing a mighty work in them. I thank you for the, each ministry that they all have. Hallelujah. It doesn't matter if they're a stay-at-home mom. It doesn't matter if they work in a daycare. It doesn't matter. Lord God, we thank you for the ministry and the, the, life, the ministry lives that you've given each and every person that's listening. Hallelujah. You've called each and every one of us to, to help spread the gospel, to help share out the gospel, to testify of the goodness of the Lord. And God, we thank you right now. Hallelujah. We thank you right now for the opportunity 
opportunity. Lord God, thank you for placing us on the jobs that you have us on so that we can be a witness to the people that are around us, that we could be a witness of the of the joy of the Lord in our lives. Hallelujah. When the world is going through so much turmoil and there's so much hate in the world. Hallelujah. Thank you for allowing us to be strategically placed. Hallelujah. To show forth your glory, to show forth the light of the world. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. And God, we thank you. Hallelujah, God. We praise you and we give you the glory. Lord God, I pray that you would cover each and every one of us, each and every person under the sound of my voice. Hallelujah. Even as we go into the weekend and preparing for weekend festivities, weekend times with our families, just weekend times to recuperate, to get ready for the next week. Lord, I pray, hallelujah, that you would cover each and every person now in the name of Jesus, that you would strengthen the bodies of your people, that you would touch the minds of your people, touch the mental intellect of our of your people, God, in the name of Jesus. And Lord, if there be any lack, Lord, I pray for increase in the name of Jesus. I speak increase to everyone that's listening. I speak increase to everyone that's listening in the name of Jesus. And God, we thank you right now. Hallelujah, God, we praise you right now. Hallelujah, Lord, we thank you for allowing us to be rooted and grounded in love. Hallelujah. We thank you, Lord, for allowing us to overcome, hallelujah, overcome the backbiting, overcome the naysayers, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Lord, we thank you for allowing us to be blessed, hallelujah. We thank you, Lord, for allowing us to be loaded with your daily benefits, oh God. We thank you, Lord, for choosing us and causing us to be blessed, oh God, in the name of Jesus. God, we thank you, Lord, that you, hallelujah, have blessed us and you've been a blessing in our life, oh God, in the name of Jesus, hallelujah, glory. Glory be to God. Lord, we thank you for all that you're doing. Thank you for blessing us in our mind. Thank you for keeping us in perfect peace. Thank you, Lord God, for all that you've done. Hallelujah. We glorify you. We magnify you. In Jesus' name we pray. Hallelujah. Amen. And it is so. Glory be to God. Amen. And it is so. Hallelujah. Listen, I want to thank you all for joining us for Morning Encounter. Thank you all for joining us for Fellowship Friday. Hallelujah. While I'm doing this last part about to uh, sign off for today. Why don't you take a moment, find someone in the comment section and say good morning to them. Hallelujah. Just type their name in the comment section and say good morning. This could be the only good morning that they hear all day. This could be the only good morning that they hear all weekend. Hallelujah. I love the fact that there is a piece of fellowship peace Fellowship piece is, 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 is it pretty much embedded into this group. And I thank God for it. Hallelujah. I watch you all as you come on. You say good morning to one another. If there's somebody on here you haven't said hi to, just go ahead and type. Type it into the comment section. Good morning to each and every one. Good morning to each and every one. Hallelujah. Find somebody and just say good morning to them. Say hello to them. Tell them that, t- tell them that you hope they have a good day. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. I glorify God glorify the Lord today. Hallelujah. Thank God for each and every one of you. And while you're saying hi to each other, you guys are going to hopefully see your names pop on, pop on the screen. Hallelujah. I want to continue to uh, ask you all and to remind you all, if you haven't done so already, uh, continue to follow us. All you have to do is find Spirit and Life Prayer Group on Facebook and YouTube. Um, and you can find us there. And also, we're on TikTok and on Instagram at Spirit and Life underscore PG. If you look for us on Facebook and YouTube, we're actually at Spirit and Life Prayer Group. There's a public group page and a private group page. You can be a part of e- either one of those. Or you can follow us on the public page. You don't even have to join anything. You just know when we go live, when we have different events coming up, you can just be uh, in the know for that. Um We'll have more information coming out next week concerning the revival at Pastor Andrew's church and how you can watch if you're out of town. We'll have more information concerning that. But we thank God for each and every one of you. Thank you for following us. I know many of you who are in the comments right now, you follow us. If you're watching us later and you're not following us, please join us. We'd love to uh, stand in the gap with you. We'd love to pray with you and to have that fellowship with you. I thank you all. We love you all with the love of God. Hallelujah. We thank God for each and every one of you. We pray that you were blessed by what you saw and what you heard. Hallelujah today. And even 
even throughout the week. We pray that you were blessed by what you heard throughout the week, the scriptures that were shared out, what the Lord has given us to talk to you all about. We pray that you were encouraged this week by the word of God and that you were encouraged even by the comments that you see in the comment section. Hallelujah. Where you hear the testimonies of the Lord, how God has delivered and set people free. We pray that that is an encouragement to you. I thank God for each and every one of you. Thank God for you joining us today. We pray that you would con consider joining us next week. We'll be back on Monday for Morning Encounter for our Miracle Monday. Hallelujah. We thank God for each and every one of you. Hallelujah. We love you with the love of God. We believe God and we believe his report. We believe that um, We believe that if we are praying, if the, the effectual fervent prayers of the righteous man availeth much and has, has much power. Hallelujah. And we thank God for the power that God has given us through through prayer, the power that God has given us through his word. And, and I thank God for his faithfulness. I pray you're encouraged today that you go in the name of the Lord and the power of his might. And listen, do you believe God? I believe God. I pray that you have a beautiful, blessed day, a beautiful, blessed weekend. And we uh, endeavor to, to be back here on Monday for Miracle Monday. Have a beautiful, blessed weekend, and we'll see you soon. Bye now.